nobody wins when the family feels. Then you told me you felt like one of your own people wrote a statement on you. Can we talk about that? Yeah, who you talking about? Italian beef and Pepsi? I'm talking about I'm talking about butter. Italian beef and Pepsi. I don't know who butter is, man. Oh, it's false, it's false, huh? Who should I expose? Should I expose my rappy legit fucking trainings like they are? Train if I get caught, I say no name, cause I know bro gon' do the same. Shit if it's he never talk. I don't know no that, that's butter, the, man. That's what you, that's what you call him now. That's what he called himself. That's what he was eating in that room, pointing them statements out and shit. Oh, my mom like that. Okay. You don't have anywhere else you can say. My mom like that. My mom. Leases on. Huh? My mom all like that. He's gonna take your leases on. Huh? Y'all sleeping in jail? Why? In front of my daughter and my sit down, man. Fourteen year old. Sit down. We're just talking. <laughs> what am I going to jail for? For not charging the pair, what? Within the last 48 hours, more than likely, you heard of the name FBG Butter or seen his face on your timeline on social media. Mainly because this Chicago rapper and by his own statement, gang member has took the stand not once, but twice in a high profile case in Chicago. This is not the first time FBG Butter was labeled as a snitch. He wore that jacket once before. He was being labeled as Italian Beef and Pepsi after a guy he got locked up with was also another Chicago rapper who go by the name Lord J. He said he saw FBG Butter talking to detectives, giving them information, eating an Italian Beef and Pepsi while smoking a pack of squares. Like three interviews when you were behind bars and you kept telling me you were going to get out and things changed and... Then you told me you felt like one of your own people wrote a statement on you. Can we talk about that? Yeah, who you talking about? Italian beef and Pepsi? I'm talking about I'm talking about butter. Italian beef and Pepsi. I don't know who butter is, man. I don't know no that, that's butter, the, man. That's what you, that's what you call him now. That's what he called himself. That's what he was eating in that room, pointing them statements out of shit. <laughs> that's his name, damn Goofy. I ain't feed me. I ain't get a sandwich. I'm a piece of bread. Nothing. The sink ain't even working my cell, bro. It took him. He had a Titan beef, a Pepsi, and a pack of squares right there. As soon as I saw that, oh yeah, that told. That now FBG Butter end up responding to that viral clip. Shout out to Say Cheese. But that's not the case we talking about here today. FBG Butter has been accused, or no, he's been exposed for allegedly telling on a case that he has nothing to do with. Now, it was a reason FBG Butter told authorities anything he could to get out of trouble, which I'll use this video to explain. But also, according to FBG Butter own statement less than 24 hours ago, he told on everybody who was deceased. But that's false. I'm here to explain his whole statement, talk about the people involved, and exactly what he said. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're we'll gonna jump right to it. By King Wilton, AKA FBG Butter. Speaking of FBG, that allegedly stands for Fly Boy Gang. Fly Boy Gang also had another member who was a high profile rapper who lost his life while in downtown Chicago shopping for a son. Carlton Weekly, AKA FBG Duck. It was August 4th, 2020 when he lost his life. He was only 26 years old. A year later, five members from Oak Block was arrested and the feds made an announcement swiftly. Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards, right to breaking news. A major development in the murder of a Chicago rapper gunned down in the middle of the day in the Gold Coast. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live at FBI headquarters with this big break in the investigation. Stephen. Brad Erica, that break coming with multiple arrests of gang members. Those who were involved in what the feds say were multiple crimes throughout the city explaining that murder in broad daylight they say was done for a reason. The barrage of gunshots caught on video is hard to forget. The shooting police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street traumatized shoppers and killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of last year. Thank you and thank you all for being here. Now more than a year later, Chicago police, the FBI and federal prosecutors announcing charges all against five men who they say are all members of the O Block Street Gang. That these five individuals, the majority of them picked up Wednesday morning near 63rd and King on Chicago's south side. The indictment also charges federal prosecutors getting involved because they say the group is responsible for an elaborate string of crimes connected 
connected to the shooting. Some involved drug trafficking and violent crimes to protect other members. The murder of rapper FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was believed by law enforcement to be one of the acts that helped with, quote, maintaining and increasing positions in O Block. Prosecutors also used social media and music videos to build a case. They say the men used both to publicly claim acts of violence, taunt rival gangs, and again, improve ranking and status. Chicago police and the feds today saying they hope this speaks to the public and those hoping to commit similar criminal acts. We are serious about our collaboration together, the federal partners. There are now five people in custody who weren't in custody before. And now it's known to them and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. Now these was the five men arrested. Now stay with me. Here's how FBG Butter gets put into play in this investigation and this trial that came up on the first week of December of 2023, three years later. In Chicago is something called Chicago Armed Habitual Criminal Charges. Two years ago, FBG Butter was in front of an officer crying and pleading not to get locked up after he was about to get arrested for his third firearm. In Chicago, getting arrested for a firearm three times is an automatic six to 30 years, which is the real reason he was crying in his viral body cam footage that was released last year. Oh, my mom like that. Okay. You don't have anywhere else you could say? My mom like that. My mom. Oh, my mom like that. Let's get to take your laces off. Y'all see me chill. In front of my daughter and my Sit down, man. 14 year old. Sit down. Let's just talk. <laughs> what am I going to jail for? For not charging the pair? What order? I now, FBG Butter managed to come right back out, and once his body cam footage went around, he released a track called 63 Bars, with a little less than 500,000 views and counting. If I take his brain, if I get caught, I say no name, cause I know bro gon' do the same. It feds, he never talk. But let's slow down. See, FBG Butter was talking to the feds when he got arrested two years ago, which is how he became Cooperator 3 in the 68-page indictment against O Block. For those wondering, who is Cooperator 3 and how do we know? Let's check it out. On page 15, it states, Cooperator 3 will testify that he witnessed murders committed by O Block members in STL territory. Specifically, the government expects Cooperator 3 will testify that he witnessed the murder of Dale Fisker, aka Squirrel, in STL territory in December of 2011. Now, STL is the territory of FBG, just so that we all clear. According to Cooperator 3, Fisker was not a gang member, but he lived in STL territory. Fisker was murdered by O Block member T Roy, known to law enforcement as James T. Johnson and 600 member D Rose. Now let's stop here for a second. This is a vintage picture of King Von to the left, T Roy to the middle, and D Rose to the right. Now we're gonna later talk about all three based on Cooperator 3 in this video, but all but one is still living, which is D Rose. Now D Rose doing 40 years for a body some say he didn't even do. Now we'll later talk about that body according to Cooperator 3 in the video. But D Rose was last heard by his fans about five years ago when he spoke on getting 40 years, having a $100,000 bond for three years and couldn't afford it and couldn't make it even though he had two up and coming rising Chicago rappers who was naming him in his songs, Chief Keef and Lord Dirk. He even went to trial without a lawyer. I went to trial with no lawyer, and I'm coming in on, and I'm set on a hundred thousand dollar bond. So a guy that's serving forty years, the only one that's living based on the statements that he gave. Three years before the guy he was responsible for killing was allegedly responsible for killing Dale, according to Cooperator 3, AKA FBG Butter. In 2015, D-Rose was convicted for the life of a 14-year-old who was killed in a drive-by on February 13, 2014. They go by the name of Benzel Richardson. May he rest in peace, her love of condolences to his family. <laughs> I found out about it on Facebook and I also, I also, when I came home, my niece, my niece came and she told me that my son was, was dead. He got shot in the head because he was coming 
he was coming from the store and he was on his way home, him and a few of his friends. And when it, as he was coming home, a van just opened up and sh and started shooting at the crowd. He was not a tender target at all. He he was the one that got shot. There's just a lot of shooting going on in this neighborhood, and they just shoot any and everybody with no remorse. And my baby was one of the fatalities. And you're saying he was in the ROTC. He was in the ROTC. He played football. He he played his video games. He was a respectable child. Vizel. Vizel. This is my son. Vizel, he just graduated from Emmett, Emmett Hill. He, he goes to Dunbar. He goes to Dunbar. And my son was a good kid. He was not in no game. He was just... He was not a target. Venzel was walking with a group of guys and they got out and just started shooting at the crowd and they shot my son. My son, this is a picture of, of the transcript that they sent in from his college. He was trying to go to Loyola. He was putting in his application as of now when he went to Dunbar. Dunbar is a very good school. and. My baby is gone now. All because people just don't have no remorse and no feeling. They just want to kill somebody. They just want to take my home and never be the same again. Now another murder that Cooperator 3 claimed he was present for and witnessed was the demise of his sister, Calvary Barnes. Her nickname was K.I. She was referenced as the female assassin in the Times. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Some say even though they look alike, that's not but a real sister. But that's what he told the feds, and that's what the feds telling the public. Cooperator three say that his sister KI was killed by O Block member Davon Bennett, aka King Von. It's crazy to know that on November 6, 2020, at just 26, King Von lost his life only a month after his rival, allegedly, FBG Duck lost his life. Now, Cooperator 3 was present and was also shot during the incident. Cooperator 3 was able to escape and saw Johnson, aka T. Rory, waiting for him allegedly at the end of the alley. He was about to run through, so instead, Cooperator 3 was able to wait until Bennett, aka King Von, Johnson, aka T. Roy, had left. Before leaving, Cooperator 3 had observed King Von standing over K.I. and shot her multiple times, allegedly. Witness 1, who may also testify at trial, who later to be found as Trenches News, also observed this murder. Witness 1 later saw King Von come back to the neighborhood after the murder and state in a threatening manner that King Von was from O Block. Trenches News lived in O Block up until 2011. King Von, T. Roy, D. Rose. There you have it, family. Cooperator 3, aka FBG Butter, told on three people in a case that had nothing to do with them, on situations that had nothing to do with the case, only to help portray the image of O Block. His response? Well, check it out. What's up? I got some questions, bro. Man, I'm too good. Am I getting paid? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting paid. Well, this, this, this ain't even no interview. It's, it's more so. I was just gonna ask you. It's, it's. I don't know if you saying what I'm covering. I'm just asking you. Is the shit that you said? I just heard a little bit. Cause got up in your platform playing on my name for I'm too like in real life. So Cook. this is the thing. I'm trying to give you a chance to say what, like what's valid, and what's not. I ain't. Yeah. Gonna ask you. I ain't. Uh, in that. real life, though, right? No, they gon' they gon' click in when they click in on that, right? But I don't took a shit to tell. I don't care, shorty. Don't never play with. Them. I don't care right now. I ain't never got paid by the feds, shorty. I don't took. I ain't never in life, nigga. I don't took a nigga. She Nobody never bitch. heard of me until another nigga mentioned me. She said oh, you did. She said she says you. She says you volunteered. She said you Fuck didn't. Come on, I ain't nobody paid me shit. I don't took a grade, nigga. My fault. They saying the feds basically. Basically, on the news line, because they said trenches got paid. He said he ain't get paid either. Man, what's fucking missing me, shorty? I don't shorty. I don't be doing none of that, shorty. I don't care. I'm knee deep. When I move, I move with dude now. Right or wrong? Keep it about. What's up? You know. You know, fuck. The internet. 
Oh, Pickle, when I move, I move with dude and them, right, brother? And that's that's what I'm confused about. That's oh, why Pickle, I don't know what's true or not. Because I'm seeing that hey, and I'm seeing this. So hey, look, brother. Hey, look. Oh, for real? You hear me? Butter? I never seen a, a live nigga to jail. I never mentioned a story where somebody died with a live person alive. Brother. That's me, gang. I talk all my shit about the dead because they fucking dead. Oh, Tuka, sweaty. And on Kyra, when, this, when the everything said it done on Tuka, sweaty, I'm still going to be the same nigga on Kyra when everything done. So that may, that may seem loud, you then. She, that's what she said. She said that you ain't tell no new information. Everything you sell is on people that, was, that passed away. Oh, Tuka, I ain't, I ain't, I don't got nothing to say about it. Nobody alive. I don't know nothing. But look, look, look. I don't know One nothing. Thing, she, she did. All that in my interviews. I talked about all that shit on Kyra. Five years, gang. Well, four technically. I've been doing interviews for four years, gang. Anything I said on Tuka Great been in my interviews, gang. Something about it. On Sunday, so there ain't, ain't no 12, nothing. I'm not getting mentioned unless I'm up me and my sister spanking them. I'm keep it a buck. No, I'm saying, though, like... On they, Tuka, they, Ain't no on Kyra. How, how you we talking right now? Gang. You hear me? I'm listening. How you talking right now? I know I know this shit, sis. So I don't want to be on no silly. How you talking right now? Like just uh, like with your slang, they they basically said like you ain't changed at all. Hey, look, I hey look, you hear me? I'm not twelve. I don't took a shorty. You hear me? Period. Point blank. No matter what, I'm on Kyra again. I've got back off a dead person. I've been showing niggas how to pay the law, how to pay the justice just for a long time. You hear me? A lot of money. Him. I don't tell you, I ain't going to jail, shorty. And I ain't sending no nigga to jail either. I don't care because I want my lick back. Whatever you do to me, we're going to do back. So so, so this whole thing with, with the uh, telling on the dead, what's, you know, if you telling on the Everybody dead, like. Everybody dead people, bro. No, niggas what I'm asking, lying. though, is like. Niggas lying. What I'm asking is like, what you telling on the dead. This was the situation where you volunteered to do this, right? Like, you wasn't in a situation bro, where... Bro, stop like, playing with me, bro. On Tuga Gray. Because if no, you were a person on Kyra, I'd press you in real life, bro. Bro, you ain't gonna do shit to me. I would, oh, gang. Gray, oh, look around, I would, about gang. None of that. I'm trying to oh, get your back, gang. Oh, scrap I would, G. Oh, my sister, I would, gang. Bro, be... I'd overpress you in person, bro. On what you, Tuga, shorty. What, 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 what you think gonna happen, though? On Tuga, shorty. You 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 think you think whatever can happen to me can happen to you or something? What I don't took or whatever has, can happen to anybody. We, we all men, gang. We all bleed the same. All that tough shit you can leave. That shit don't help, man. You know I, I ain't even know trying to disrespect you, gang. Hey, you know me on the regular, brother. I was took her. I'm nice to people that I but I don't took them on my on Kyrie, bro. I'm still dude, gang. But I'm saying you talk crazy like I am playing with you, gang. If I want to play with you, I would have played with you, bro. You don't gotta threat me, bro. All that disrespectful shit, gang. I'll kill you, gang. I was trying to get over some words, over some pet, and I fucked with you. I, 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 I,
after we all know he'll talk to the police as well. That's a dangerous man. Fam, let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.